Hello, my name is Wiala. I'm from Ghana. I'm a singer, I'm a dancer, and I sing in Sesale, Wali, Dagari, and English. You can also call me the Lioness of Africa. <laughs> <laughs> that really sounds cool. Yes. Yeah? Uh, so, if I understand right, you sing in many languages, but often you actually mix the languages in the same song. Well, um, I sing Sesale, which is my father's uh, uh, language, and I sing Dagari, which is also my mother's language. But I was born in a town called Wa, and they also speak Wali. And then, of course, I learned English in school. Ghana, we use, uh, English is a general language we use when it comes to education. So, four. And um, when I'm singing, because of my mother's tongue and my father's tongue, I can't say, this is my tongue. You have to mix all of them together. And I mix them, the words sometimes sound the same, but it means differently. And the cultures are different. So when it comes to music, uh, because I can speak easily and I understand the cultures and all that, I can easily make, uh, put them together. And if you don't know the difference, you think it's one language, but it's actually different languages. And in Ghana, we have 10 regions. And every region, they have a language. And then when you go under the languages, we have small, small dialects, so yes. And it's traditional, and I like to add my traditional uh, 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 life, everything culture to it, because it's one thing that would differentiate me first of all, it's my identity, so I can't leave it behind. That's one of the reasons why, most important reason why I sing in the traditional languages. Yes. And it's very, very important Every parent must teach their child their local dialect. If you don't do that, it's very embarrassing. <laughs> when you go home, they'll be making fun of you. Mm. Yes, it's one thing you have to learn. Composer by force. Mm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're going to perform three songs for us today. Yes. Uh, one song is a cover song. Yes. Uh, the two others are your songs. Could you tell me about those two first songs? Well, the first song is uh, Tandagari which means a uh, rock sun. The rock and the sun look alike, but they are for different purposes. And we sang this song when we were in the classroom. It's just uh, a short white saying, which says, don't copy people blindly. If you do, when the D-Day comes, they might be better off and you will be found wanting. The moral of the song is the rock sun and the rock look the same, but they are not really the same. If you put them in the rain, one will turn to sun and one will still be there. So they are telling the rock sun, look, we love to use sun to make houses. That is where your strength lies. Leave the rock in the rain. The rain will beat it, but it's there. Mm. So find your strength, work on it, and you'll be special. Don't copy people blindly, because you don't know what they go through to be who they are. If not, when the D-Day comes, and, they are, and, it's, and, and it's time to pay the price, you might not be able to stand it. So cut your coat according to your size. That's the meaning of the song. That's Tandagare, rock and sun. Tandare. Sana wa 